It's frozen. How you doing? Nope. Nice, nice. Christian. Christian, you ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on? Okay, sweet. What's good? Yeah, we can hear you. Yo, I, I, I got a question to ask you. Like, uh, you know, like, recently, like, over this last year, you've been getting a lot of heat. You know what I mean? From, like, a lot of other Republicans uh -huh. and, oh, quote, unquote, conservatives and black conservatives. Like, how does that make you feel that, uh, like, a lot of black conservatives, like the phone call you got with the black chick mm -hmm. and she used to like you, you know? Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, she don't really like you no more since you started calling things how they really are. Like, like, how do you view that? Like, do you feel like you was on some coon stuff or or? Like oh, yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Most definitely. I think it, it, it came from a, an echo chamber. Yeah. So you think like you were like indoctrinated in it or like you just. Well, I, grew, got, like, I grew up. I didn't have a turning away experience. So I grew up with this. So everything I was saying, I, I honestly believe. Um. But yeah, most definitely, most definitely. But it wasn't until it was like, okay, all you need, I think all people really need is that little crack. That little crack to open them up to, okay, something's not right here. It's like, remember, I don't know if you remember the Animatrix? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah I, you remember I, when, I, when the kids would jump off and they wouldn't hit the ground? Yeah. Right? It was that little crack that let them know, oh, okay, what's, what's going on here? And that opens your mind up to something completely different, if you're willing. I think the biggest hump is to, to get people who are willing. They want to talk about free thinking, but they don't ever want to enable it. Yeah, because I, I started seeing that a lot lately on your channel. And like the call yesterday really did it. I was like, man, you know what? I got to just call in because I always normally call in. I'm the 856 number. You probably always see me in your chat. Okay. But uh, I like that last call really did it for me. The one you posted with the chick. And like she was like, she was like Candace Owens on steroids. <laughs> But what was even crazy is that people were agreeing with her. Did you see yeah. that in the comments? That's, that's what got me. I thought this was like a, you know, a slam dunk. I think everyone would see. No, people were like, well, she's speaking truth. <laughs> I was that's like, oh, damn. For real. And like, and like the logic that you got now, I'm pretty much aligned with like how you see. And so like when I see like those people like, oh, yeah, Luke is changing. And, and, and it baffles me because like even like I, I've been watching the channel maybe for like three years now, maybe two and a half. But like when I see people like that, I'm like, damn, like, yo, that's really crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's like people like that used to be involved, like in this channel and like all those subscribers you had that the people that fell off, it was like, they don't really like you because like you would say certain things about black. I'd reinforce their perspective. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, uh, uh, it's, it's a hell of a drug, man. It's a hell of a drug. And yeah, and it's like that that really showed me it was like people really don't want the answers that they're looking for. They really just want to whatever they believe for someone to confirm that for them or or back it up or back up that point. They don't, yeah, they don't really want the information. They don't really want to know what's true or false. They want to just, oh, this is what I believe. So you you tell me that. I'm watching you so you can tell me the same thing. Yeah, that's why it's so. That's why it's it's they it's such a responsibility for those with the, that position of power who have that audience is to maybe lean them in a different direction. But at the same time, you're gonna have to take into account that may come at the cost of your finances, whatever fame you've accumulated, you know, resources. So it's yeah. just it's like, why would I take that risk for what? Because it's yeah. not gonna happen in a year. It's not gonna happen in a month. And honestly, I don't. I think it will happen. I think it can happen. Because we saw as far as many changes regarding to the alphabet community, uh, and how the right addressed it, just with one administration, one administration. Yeah. You want to tell me that if Trump had started talking, because he mentioned as far as black people built this country, I didn't hear not one one conservative talking person, talking head, even even say anything about that. I didn't hear not one person criticize him when he said that. He said that. And it recently came out in a book where he was afraid to even be empathetic to George Floyd or any other circumstances given to his base, which is one of the other reasons why I was like, yo, listen, these people, you, you have, a, if you're the majority of this party right, right now, which is why I always, you know, get on as far as white conservatives and they see that as racist. It's like, no, I'm not saying it's racist. I'm saying you have a responsibility because you're the ones that they're listening to. You make up the majority as of right now. So and you need to be put people people in these positions of power who are actually going to be beneficial to the people that they, you know, they're constantly worrying about or they're constantly have coming out of their mouth.
rather than just giving you what you want to hear about that group. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 the, and the, the part that sucks the most of it all is because we have a Democratic and Republican Party, but the Democrats come and they pander, but the Republicans, they just bash. It's like, oh, no, black people, they just got to do better. Black and then people. they want to say, well, they're a monolith. Look at how they vote. Yeah, it's like, bruh, what? If, if there's a yeah. person in a white hood <laughs> and a person in a suit and they may both have the same beliefs, Obviously, I'm not going to vote with the person with the, the white hood. Yeah, and it was like, if you just bring somebody that I can connect with or somebody who's going to talk to me real and just, you know what I mean? Like, talk to me the same way you talk to the white people. Yeah, don't talk, talk to me like I'm a criminal or like I'm one of the good ones or something like that. Don't condescend yeah. me. Like, I don't, like, I got to kiss your ass for, for you to say something good about me and my people. Like, no, you're supposed to come and say some real shit to me and me and my people and then... We'll give you our vote. It's, it, it shouldn't be the other way around. I agree. You're supposed to come correct. I've never heard them do this in anyone else. But it's only for black people. They're like, oh, no, y'all just got to do this. You guys are messing up. But then when they go to white people, they be, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, we're going to do this for you. We're going to do that. Dot their eyes and cross their T's. Yeah. Like, but, but it's like, just give us the same treatment. Because, like, most of the time, I end up probably voting for Democrat. I voted Republican a few times. But it's like, man, like. Half the time I don't vote Republican because I'm like, man, these dudes are straight up racist. <laughs> they make it very, very hard. And we yeah. already see the Democrats, they were like, well, you mofos, you all say all this stuff, but when you get into power, it's like, ah, next year, next year, if you vote for me, if you, if you vote for me again and reelect me, then I'll do it. Yeah, and, it, and it's like, and sometimes I just wasted my vote and voted independent. Just because I'm like, man, I don't give a damn about me one of these, you know what I mean? Like, I hear, I just, you. It was Bru I hear you. If we, if there was a solid independent, bruh, they would mess things up. If there was a solid independent who played the game straight, they would mess things up. Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders messed up his chance. He messed it up. He started kissing too much Democrat ass. Yeah, I oh, a hundred percent. And then when they 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 stole it from him, and they did they, him dirty, and then had him freaking campaigning for for Hillary Clinton. I was like, bruh, come on, my guy. <laughs> Same thing again with Joe Biden because they all aligned against them. Like what Budichich dropped out, uh, Amy Klobuchar dropped out, and then they all backed out the same day and backed Joe Biden. They did the same thing again, and like he's still doing it. And it's like, man, I, that's why I gave up on Bernie. Yeah, I nothing to say to that. Yeah, I 100% I agree with you, my guy. Yeah, that's why I really like these are one of the parties I don't really feel like I fit in because the Democrats just do dumb stuff where I'm just like, come on, like I like that that shit really mean nothing like and then the republicans just like we ain't gonna do shit for you <laughs> they make they make clear we're not gonna do anything yeah like i'll send the cops to bust you over the head like like you know what, well, I mean? what like, about no well what <laughs> about that no well, what about but see the, the democrats like maybe maybe yeah. not <laughs> as soon as you vote them in they're like oh, no. they say, oh well maybe not maybe not that's what we meant well, to say <laughs> we'll paint black lives matter on the street for you though Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I think a lot of people are coming too to to this nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. But I had. But the reason, main reason why I really had to call it is because, like, I seen you start to wake up from that and like just from like calling like team like oh this is my team so I'm going with them and you started really seeing it for what it is and now a lot of people are really upset and mad with you because of that like you know like the black chick then I heard uh, what was the white dude no well he said he was biracial. But he called you a bigot and a racist, and he—I yeah, he, didn't get that at all. Yeah, he—he he was dumb, and I was just like, "How, how do you don't understand this?" But they're upset that you are not telling them what they want to hear. So, bro, do not stop what you're doing. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing, bro. I'll Keep try, but I don't, the thing is, the funny thing is, I find ironic is that it's going to be for the benefit of you. It's, it's going to be for the benefit of the party, a uh, benefit of the outreach of communicating with the group that you constantly, uh, you know, talk about, right? Yeah. But they don't be see it that way. They just see it as why don't you talk about the Democrats? If you if you're a Republican, why the fuck would I talk about the Democrat? We already know they're fucked up. We don't you agree with the what they're pressure. doing. All right, you want to put the pressure on the side you're voting for? Exactly. Let's perfect wow. our rhetoric, how we do things. Don't worry about the other side. As long as you do what you need to do on your side, the other side don't matter. I, I hear you, my guy. I hear you. But, man, that's all I wanted to say, man. I, you know, I'm a long-time listener, bro. I just wanted to call in and say what's up. I appreciate that, my guy. That's a dope-ass shirt.
Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You like it? You that's like that's it, what's up. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm the wrong way with it. <laughs> subtle flex. Subtle flex. I hear you. I see you. I see you, my G. All right, man. All right, ahead. man. Take care. Stay safe. All right, who is who is next? Who wanted uh? Who was it? 